You've seen those apps that let you use your smartphone as a flashlight app. Well, that's what this video is about. We are going to be developing a flashlight app that lets, turns your Android device into a, into a flashlight. For this, we are going to be using AI Live Complete. AI Live Complete is an extension of MIT App Inventor and is available both in classic version and the browser-based version. For the purpose of this demo, we are going to be using the classic version. So we are going to be developing a flashlight app. We are going to include ability to check and see if the device has a flash or not. If it doesn't, then we are going to display a warning message or an error message. And if it does, we are going to turn the flash on and off. This is what we are going to be working toward. So initially, we are going to uh, put an image on the screen that is, is going to have a flashlight and we are going to, the initial state is going to be the flash off. Once you click on this uh, flashlight, we are going to switch the image to something like this and of course turn the flash on. Once you click on it again, we are going to be switching back onto this image and then turn the flash off. Alright, so let's get started. So we are going to drop a button from the basic palette. We are going to make the button uh, for the width and the height to fill the screen. So for that, for the width, we set to fill parent. For the height, we set to fill parent. And we don't really need any text for it. All right. This is what you see right now. There is just a blank button here. This is actually a projection of my device onto the screen, so you can see the work in development. This is not the emulator, it's, it's the actual device here, projection. All right, so what we have here also is, uh, is a component called kitchen sink. And I'll show you what, why we have dropped the kitchen sink component here. Let's go into our blocks editor. So for the block editor, you notice that uh, there is a kitchen sink block here that says notification bar visible and I have set it to false. So what that means is that we have removed the, uh, the top notification bar here. And also there is a kitchen sink keep screen on to true. For this, it means that I, I didn't want the screen to go to sleep. So I uh, issued this, uh, I ran this block right here. So the screen will not go to sleep. All right, what do we want to do? We want to, we want to put in the uh, ability that when the user clicks on the button, button1.click, that's this button right here, we want, to, uh, we want to check to see if there is a flash or not. So for that, we are going to drop in a, um, a control if then else block, and we are going to test to see if, if the device has a flash or not. So we need a camera component there. So we're going to our design editor and from the media, we select the camera component, drop it here, which is a non-visual component. We go back into our blocks editor and in the blocks editor, we select that camera and you'll notice that there is a has flash block. So we are going to plug that into this socket right there and if I just run this specific block, you'll notice that it says true. That means this camera, uh, sorry, this device has a flash. So if it has a flash, if it has a flash, we want to call a procedure. I already created uh, a blank procedure right there called set flash. So we are going to be invoking this set flash procedure and we'll do some specific uh, logic there. So we are going to be calling this set flash if there is a flash, if there is no flash, we are going to be um, displaying an error message. So for that, we are going to select a notifier. And for the notifier, we are going to show a message dialog that says something like, um, there is no flash, plug it there. And for the title, we are going to say info and the button that's going to display, we are just going to say OK. So the user can OK out of it. <coughs> so 
excuse me. All right, so now what are we going to do when we want to turn the flash on? You notice that I have declared the variable called flash on and the initial state is set to false. So if there is a flash, we are going to be invoking this uh, procedure right there. And the very first thing we do is that we flip, we flip the state of that uh, variable. So initially, if it is false, we are going to negate it and it's going to be set to true. After that, we are going to put in an if then else block and we're going to say if the flash is on, of course, we want to turn the flash on and change our image. From this image, we want to switch it to this image here. All right, so for that, we're going to change the, uh, uh, the button uh, image. So we are going to select the button, image two, and we are going to be changing it to flash on dot png. Again, this, this is the image that I have already uploaded. If the flash, uh, if this is false, we are going to be switching back to this flash of PNG. Let's just see how this looks like so far. Uh, I think I haven't actually changed the button image, sorry. So the initial state of the button, we are going to be setting the image to flash off. So this is the initial state. So you'll notice that when the app starts, it's going to be flash off. So let's go back to uh, our blocks editor and I'm going to be showing you uh, this uh, device right there. So if I tap on this flash off, the, the image is going to be changing and it's flash on. And if I tap on it again, it's gonna say flash off and we turn off the flashlight there. So there's one more thing that we need to do, which is the most important thing, and we actually need to turn the flash on. So for that, we select the camera component here, and you'll notice that there is a flash on component. We're just going to be dropping it onto there, and we set the, uh, the value of that to true. That means we wanna turn the flash on. If it is off, if the state of this is off, I'm going to be copying this, putting it here, and we're going to be flipping it to false. So, so the very first thing we do is negate the, that uh, flash on from, from false to true, and vice versa from true, true to false. And if, if it is true, we, turn the, we flip the image to on and uh, turn the flash on. So let's see how this looks like on the, uh, on the screen here and then I'm going to be showing you how it works on my device. So this is my uh, this is my device and the, uh, this is just showing you how it looks like on the screen. So if I tap on this, you see that the flash has turned on. If I tap on it again, You'll notice that it's off. So this was a flashlight uh, application that was developed using AI Life Complete. And we put in the ability to check and see if the device has a flash or not. And if it doesn't, then we display a message that there is no flashlight. And if there is, we are going to be um, turning the flash on and off.